Hello. What's going on, everyone? Happy Friday. Well, Saturday. Um, here. I want to jump on here and I want to put together a 3D cauldron die with you guys. So I purchased this huge one. And this is how it came out. It was so pretty. But when I put it together, it was like, it's really wonky. Like it leans to the side. You probably can't tell. So I wanted to put it together again in the mini size so I can show you guys. Um, these I got these from Amazon, from KS Craft. Um, so if you guys want the link, let me know and I will put the link. But this is bomb, guys. If you want to do a 3D project and, you know... That's why I always say, like, you don't need a cutting machine to, you know, like a silhouette or whatever to do 3D projects. There are a lot of 3D dyes available. Hey, Sam. Hey, DV. Hey, Anna. Hello, everyone. Hi, Bevy. Hootie hoo. So, I put this together, and it's so big, guys. You can fit so much shit in here. Like, look. I'm going to throw some paint in here. I'm going to throw some glue in here. And there's still a lot of room. Look. Let me lay it down. It's it's huge. I'm just trying to show you guys like it's huge. Look, it's huge. Look, it's huge. Okay, this thing is huge. So if you bought, I would definitely grab both of these. I know, girl, it's huge. I can't stop saying that. It's huge. It's huge. Um. So yeah, I just put it together, and I had a great idea to put one of my hats on top. Okay, so you guys remember I have a tutorial of these little hats that we made and i haven't made a big one for this one but i will be making one but how cute would this be with a witch hat on top so bomb so that's what we're going to be doing tonight guys i'm going to be putting together the small one so this is the big one and then i'm going to be putting together the smaller one okay which you know i love you because i don't do halloween and i come to see whatever you do oh thank you girl why don't you do Halloween, girl? Halloween is so much fun. I don't really celebrate Halloween like that, but I love to craft Halloween. It's so weird. Thank you. All right, guys. So share this video so we can get some people up in here and we can have some fun. So with this die, this is how it comes. You only get two pieces in the die. Okay, this one and this one. And when you're cutting, make sure you pay attention to these pieces, okay? Because a lot of the papers that we have are directional. Meaning that if you cut this out upside down, then you're going to have, your pieces are going to be upside down. You see how they're all straight? They're going in the right direction. So pay attention to the die when you're cutting, all right? So you get two pieces. There's this piece here. And it's so funny, like when I was putting together, I was like, how many, how many times am I supposed to cut this out? I was like, I need to find a video. How many times am I supposed to cut it out? Somebody help me find out how many times. And my dumbass, all I had to do was count these sides. Okay. So I believe there's seven. Yeah, there's seven sides to this. So you cut cut out your these pieces seven times. So you need seven of these and one of these to put your die together. Okay. So this is how the bottom. It's going to be this little tiny notch. That's how you know how to cut. So there's a bigger top and then a smaller top. So if your paper is going like this, you see how the cat's like this? You're going to cut with a smaller piece down so that you can it can go in the right direction. Okay, guys? Because there's nothing more annoying than cutting out all your pieces for them to be upside down or sideways or whatever. Okay? I tried this diet. It was hard for me. Hi, Yaquis. I'm going to show you guys how to put it together, okay? All right, so I cut this out, and I did some black stitching on here, okay? And I'm going to show you guys how to put this together. It's pretty simple. So the way that I put it together was I glued it here, and then I put it together. Don't do it that way. I'm going to try it the other way. It might be easier. Mine came out a little wonky, and I think that's the reason why. So all you're going to do is fold these pieces, Okay, we're forming, this is the bottom, all right? The small tab is the bottom of your die. Okay, and then when you get to the top, you're going to start going in the opposite direction, like so. And actually, this one will go in. So this is how, I know it's a little like 
you'll get it though. Okay, guys. So you're just going to fold these pieces, fold these side ones. These side pieces are what you're going to, what's going to hold them together. Okay. All these little tabs are what's going to hold them together on the sides. And th this part is going to form the shape of your cauldron. Okay. So it's going to be the shape. You want it to be rounded and then have a lip and then it's going to come down. Okay. Thinking, let me see what you guys are saying. She has a virus. It's going to be could free baby. It's going around could free baby. Thinking on this, I need to do a video of all the dyes. I don't know how to use damn Ellie. All right. So let's continue to fold, guys. All right. I'm just going to fold. Tracy, what are you saying? I don't understand what you're saying. So there's like a bigger one and then it gets smaller. So that's how you know to start turning in the other direction. All right. And then that top one gets folded in. Okay. And we're just going to fold these. So we're going to do this to all of our pieces. And then we can glue them together to form the shape of our cauldron. So if this doesn't take too long, I want to make some dangles with you guys too. Okay. So just fold them. And then once it starts to like thin in, fold it the opposite direction. Okay. And then this one goes in. And you don't have to like really crease it hard. Just slightly fold it. She doesn't have what? COVID? Ah, let me say that. I told you she didn't, girl. Thank you, baby. Why didn't say the Rona? Pretty sure she just had like allergies or something. She probably ate something wrong too. It made her sick. Okay, and this one goes in. And I'm just going to fold these down. This is what's going to form your cauldron. You want it to be rounded on the bottom. And then you want it to come up like that on top. Thank you, girl. I could not. Hoodie hoo, what's going on? I could not think of what stitching to do, guys. I was like torn between doing like a hot pink and gold or black. And I went with black. So make sure you cut this out seven times. And once again, guys, make sure that when you put your die down, this is the bottom of the die. So you make sure that the if you have paper that's going in a certain direction, that you line it up accordingly. You don't want this to be upside down, okay? All right. Two, four, five. I think I cut one extra one by accident. So the little um, witch hats that we made, guys, they're going to look so bomb on this. You guys can get this die on Amazon. And I really suggest getting both sizes. Um, if you don't want to get both sizes, I'm putting this small one together so that you guys can um, decide what size you want. But me personally, I would get both because you just never know, you know what I'm saying, like when it will come useful in a project. It's just good to have both. And they're pretty inexpensive. All right. So there goes all of our pieces. Thank you, girl. Now I'm going to grab my glue and we're going to form this cauldron. Does my noble glue want to act right with me tonight? Let me get a head pin so I can poke my glue. Thank you, Natalie. There goes the link to that die, guys. All right, so let's do this. So this bottom tab is going to go to the base. Okay, so we're not going to glue that yet. We are just going to glue the sides. So I'm putting a little bit of glue on each of these little side tabs. And... 
we're just gonna glue these together it's kind of hard to tell because of this damn paper make sure you line it up really well just like that these guys can be really tricky guys you guys can use score tape You can use hot glue, you can use wet glue. I kind of like to use the wet glue because I got a little room to move around. But then it's kind of annoying because it takes a while to dry. So you got to put like a not too much and not too little. So that way you got a little bit of room to move around, but then it dries and you don't got to be holding us together forever. You know what I'm saying? So just like this, guys, make sure you're... Lining it up well. We see how that's already making a little corner. This is what you want to do. And you're going to do this all the way around with your seven pieces. All right. So this top part, it doesn't glue. That. I actually glued this down. I don't know if it's supposed to be that way, but that's what I do. So we'll get to that at the end, okay? But what's important are these sides right here. You want to get that shape. You see that shape? All right, let's do the next one. Not sure why it's not putting as a link. You guys can um just go type in KS Craft Dies on Amazon. And go to more dies and you gotta scroll through there. I'll try to link it after this video. Thank you, Natalie. I don't know what's up with you today. I was acting weird. Not letting my moderators link stuff. So again, that bottom one, that really small one, leave that one alone. That one's gonna glue to our base. Hey Rocky, who do you? I know my night hours were not sleeping. I was not feeling the best, guys. I was laying down in pain. I'm like so sore. And um, I'm like, let me go on live because I got to get this video out. I've been wanting to do this video for weeks. I'll probably give somebody this die. It's, girl, it's not that bad, I promise you. Yeah, Quise, you need to get this die, girl. Watch when you see it done. You're going to be like, shit, I need that die. And you don't need a cutting machine for this. You could just use your paper and your dice. If I use hot glue, it would be so much faster. Maybe I should use my hot glue. No, I don't want to use my hot glue because you have to really get the shape nice. You don't want no wonky ass cauldron. I'll be like, Gucci gave me this corroded ass lopsided it's simple to put together all we're doing is doing the same thing to all seven pieces it's so cool that this is out of paper so again, if you missed the, um, I'll show you guys the big size. This is the smaller size that I'm playing with. And I think it's a perfect size. The big one is bomb. If you want to do like a big project, like for, um, I think the big one is really nice for my Halloween swap that I'm hosting. <clears throat> so you see, there goes half. We're almost halfway there. And use double-sided paper. Look pretty. I wonder if I should use my glue stick. I don't like it. I'd rather alter a Dollar Tree cauldron. <laughs> Why don't you like it, Yaquiz? Because it didn't come out right? Girl, this die, this die is bomb. Is this 
damn glue. I gotta wait. Oh, I'm too impatient for this. So when I put my sides together, I used wet glue. I couldn't get the sides to meet up. And so there were gaps in between the sides. Girl, I don't have this kind of patience. I know I don't have patience either. But you, yeah, you got to line it up right, girl. And it's so hard to see the sides right now because of this paper is so busy. It's like all blending together. You have to make sure that you fold your pieces, okay, guys? Fold your pieces first. Okay. Bear with me. This is a little tedious. I'm about to bust out my Gorilla Glue Stick. I forgot to haul it, guys. I think I'm going to use that instead. See them? It's right out on me. I found this at, um, I found this at Ross. For $2.49, I was like, winning. I bought this for my edges. So they just stay, my edges could stay nice and laid for the whole year. Let's try this one out. Everybody swears by Gorilla Glue. I don't really use it. It's really going to be like my first time using it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, my hair edges. <laughs> mm. Rocky said your hair edges. Do you guys remember that girl who used Gorilla Glue on her hair? She had to get like surgery. Cause she thought she she's using it like as hair glue. I got this from my edges. They did, girl. They had to have surgery. It was really bad. You guys didn't hear about that? There's only four small left and one large on Amazon. Is everybody, like, done with shopping for um, Halloween? I can't stop shopping for Halloween. Be like my edges, they don't move. I thought it was super glue. <laughs> oh, I like this glue stick, definitely sticks faster. I got a little bit of wiggle. Ah, damn it, why you let me down like that, Gorilla Glue? So you do got to have patience with this die, guys. You got to get that shape right and tight. Okay. It is worth every second. Yeah, I'm done shopping for Halloween. Maybe. Good morning, Louisa. Louisa, it's not morning yet, girl. Night, our night is just getting started. What are you doing up this late? Going to work? I think your time is like ahead of mine. Maybe that's why. 
Right now it is three o'clock in the morning here in Chicago. It's 4 a.m. I'm getting ready to go to work. I figured that. My night's just getting started. I need to be done shopping. I know, girl. I, I wish I can go on a no spend. Like It's like after I do my hauls. And then I got to put all that shit away. I'd be like, shit. Why did I get all this? I can't believe everybody's sleeping. What the hell? On a Friday night? I have a lot of stuff and a, and a lot I want to do. The Halloween season will be over before I get to it all. I know, girl. But honestly, I think that I'll be still crafting a little bit of Halloween even after Halloween. Because it'll never be enough. I'm not too like, ooh, Christmas. I just completed my Secret Santa shopping. We will finish the family this month. That's awesome, girl. They're already starting to put out some really good... Um... Okay, so here's our last piece. Okay, guys? Is it the last one? One, two, three, four, five. No, there's two more. There's two more. Make sure you put all seven pieces, okay? All seven pieces. Don't forget, we're not folding that bottom tab. We're not gluing that bottom tab. Buy stuff, put it away. Buy more stuff, exactly. And then forget about the stuff that you put away. Forget that you have the stuff that you put away. Or you can't find the stuff that you put away. This is the small one. It looks pretty big still, right? No, but the big one is huge. I was not expecting it to be so huge. But I'm here for it. I like it. Let's put some more glue here. So use whatever glue works best for you. Damn it. Definitely got to have patience for this. The wet glue is good. You just have to like wait for it to dry. Can't move on to the next panel until the other ones are dry. I'm not trusting this Gorilla Glue, man. I think I need to do my new bowl because I do not want this to break on me. Come apart on me. Okay, just like that, guys. I was wondering about that Gorilla Glue. I'm guessing it holds well. It's all right so far, girl. I don't know. It's hard to tell um, because I am, you know, using this big-ass stick on these little tiny tabs. Well, I figured that it would be good since it's Gorilla Glue, you know? All right. This one is very tricky to... The last one is tricky to put, guys. So let's do this. Thank you, girl. Okay. So this part is easy, but that last, that very last one is a little tricky. Come 
Come on, man. Don't start messing up on me now. Don't start giving me a hard time now. All right, I'm going to cool this one down really good. Did you guys do any crafting today? This is my first time crafting today. I'm so tired today. I took like three naps. I'm using the wet glue because I'm getting frustrated. Where did my cap go to my edge glue? I need this to stick together well. If you don't put too much, like this is too much. Just let it dry for a second, couple seconds. Made Disney villain tags with fabric. Oh, that sounds cute, girl. Yaquisa, yeah, I didn't know you had a channel, guy, girl. Guys, um, check out Yaquisa's yeah, channel. She's got some really good projects on her channel. Yesterday I did some fall ruffle trim with the Dollar Tree and Walmart fabric with that snow tool. Oh, that sounds pretty, girl. Yesterday I sold um, some of those napkins. I sold a ton of that stuff. Like ruffled it. Oh my gosh, this is so frustrating. The last one is a biatch to put on guys okay I'm trying to really crease it on there okay you gotta line it up perfectly okay you have to have it folded in the right direction as well Okay. Oh my God, stay still. Good morning, Anastasia. Anastasia, you want somebody's giveaway. I think it was Alicia's. You need to check your Instagram. I better finish getting ready for work. Bye, girl. Have a great day. Good night, Anna. I can't believe everyone is sleeping right now. Okay. So this is the last part. Okay. And this is like kind of a bitch to put together. So I'm going to put not too much glue. Is that Yaquisa's channel, Natalie? Okay. So, I'm going to try to work a little bit fast. Okay. Oh, and Bevy's got a channel, too. I checked out her channel. I was like, I didn't know these girls do YouTube. A lot of people, um, they don't really do YouTube. So it's cool to find out when you guys do. I spoke with her last. I told her to give it to you. But she said, you already got it. Why you do that, Anastasia? That's so sweet, girl. I already have that one. You're so sweet. <laughs> Take it for you, girl. You don't do Halloween crafting? Damn it. That's sweet of you, Anastasia. I get happy when my night owls win things. <laughs> yeah, you're like, Gucci. 
I'm about to take a 15 minute drive. I'm here. Okay, girl, be careful. Please be careful. Last one is such a bitch to put on. Oh my god. Alright. All right, all right, all right. They're drawing on me. So again, make sure you're getting that shape. Lining it up right. It's really hard to do on this last one. That's Natalie, girl. That's NC Invite. She changed her name. She's trying to catfish you, Anastasia. Oh my God, this last one's so hard to put together. There's a gap here. Take your time, guys. Don't get frustrated like me. Thank you. Right, aka Pretty Mix Studio. Okay, so there it goes. This side is poking out. I don't want to rip it. So this is what we're left with, guys. This is the cauldron, okay? These pieces, I I, I um, glue them in. This flap right here. I just tuck them in like so. I'm not sure if this is how it's supposed to be, like on the top. But that's what I do. I don't watch movies that have all that blood in it. <laughs> Me either, Anastasia. I don't watch those movies either, girl. But that um the punch and paper set you got, it's cutesy. It's not it's not like scary. So I'm just gluing all these top pieces. Damn it, this piece came up. I should use my hot glue, guys. Why are you embarrassing me like that? I'm talking to my die. Why are you not cooperating with me tonight? Okay. And then this goes down. I don't know. I fold this one down. I glue it down. Because I feel like it gives it more enforcement if it enforces it. So you guys can decorate this cauldron however you like. But like I said, when I made the big one, I was like, oh my god, my little witch hats are going to look so bomb on this cauldron. So I'll show you guys how that looks. I love the size of this cauldron. 
I don't know. I personally wouldn't be able to choose between the two sizes, to be honest. Maybe I won't make the culture and I don't have great skills or patience. Damn, nobody want the culture now. <laughs> They're like, damn. Took Poochie 35 minutes to make that shit. And that's not including all the stitching. But I think it's worth it, guys. Especially if you're like a Halloween freak like me. Definitely got to have it in your stash. I know. But I don't want to um make it wonky again. So that's why I use the wet glue. You know, that hot glue, you can't. You mess up, it stays like that. So... I can use the hot glue once I make a couple of these. Shut up, Debbie. It says 36 minutes, motherfucker. Okay. So, there goes our cauldron. Isn't it cute? Now we just have to glue this to the base. And I think I'm going to use hot glue for that. Do I want to use hot glue? No. I like the beacon three and one. So it would be best to just like glue this down and then get like a bone folder or something and reinforce it on the inside. So let me just kind of get the shape together. This is definitely a labor of love. On there, yes. Let me put some more glue right here. See this, guys? See this shit? I don't like that gorilla glue. That glue stick. So there goes our base, and this is how it sits. Look at how cute it is. So I'm going to take my witch hat, one of my witch's hats. If you guys have not seen my tutorial on this, I'm going to leave a link below along with my Halloween playlist of all the Halloween embellishments that I've ever made. Okay, guys? It will have all that on there. How cute is this, guys? Look at that. Isn't it cute? I love it. I have a couple different options. Let me see. Where's my other one? Where are my other witch hats? There we go. These might be too small. But you guys know you can make these any size that you want. This one might be too short. But how cute is that? This one's a nice size. I like how the lace kind of lays down on it. I think I'm going to go with this one. But how cute is that? And then you can fill this up with goodies. So, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to make some dangles. Because I want to fill this up with dangles. I don't know. Um, if anyone has this dye, let me know. And if you put it together, let me know if yours kind of sits... A little lopsided because I feel like this one's sitting lopsided too, and so did the other one. 
You can put like legs on, on this. No, it's not as lopsided as the big one. And that's because with the big one, I glued it to the base first. So glue this last. Put all your seven pieces together and then glue the bottom last. All right. So there goes our cauldron. Let me move my witch hats. Let me move my glues. And we're going to make some word dangles, some Halloween word dangles. Okay. I'm trying to clear some stuff out the way. Thank you. I don't think Debbie has it. She said that she wants to get it. So if you guys are interested in grabbing that die, I will grab it now. Natalie said there's only four small ones on Amazon. And um, four small and one large one. So cute. Look at how adorable. So let me show you the big one again for those of you who just came in. This is the large one. It's huge. And this is the small one. Okay, so you can see it's a really big difference, like half the size. Like that. So I just tie some tulle around the big one, and then I want to make a huge hat for the top of it. Yeah, it's a really big size difference. So that's why I'm, I say that it's good to have both. If they weren't, if they were really close in size, then I would just pick or choose one or the other. But since they are like a really big size difference, I would definitely grab both. All right. So I got my tools. I want to play with these black beads. I bought these specifically to make some Halloween word dingles. It's a huge difference, right? So which one do you guys like? You like the smaller one or the bigger one? Let me take that. So what word should we do? I want to do... I love these little word beats from Hobby Lobby because you get a ton. Sometimes in the little kits or whatever, with letters, you don't have a lot of the of some letters that you use a lot. You know what I mean? You order both. Rocky likes the big one. Oh, you like them big, huh, Rocky? You like them big, girl. Um, let's do boo. Let me see. Where's there another O? Lord. What did I get myself into with you guys? Here goes an O. And then let's do Bat. You're so tiny. <laughs> I can say yes. I heard that girl. Oh. It was oh. T. Do that. Boo. Bat. What else? Let's do witch. W, I, guys, you have to know how to spell to do this, okay? Don't be spelling words wrong. I always forget how to spell shit. I gotta Google some stuff sometimes. Okay, which, I want to put that which. 100% that witch. Let 
gonna put D A T. You see how many letters are in here with those other packs? You could barely like spell any words. It's so annoying trying to um find all those letters and there's not enough. What else? What other words, guys? Some Halloween phrases. Um, what about eek? E. E. K. I probably could make some little tiny ones. And... Do I want to use my Hishi beads or some sea beads? I want to make these pastel. Spooky. That's a good one, Natalie. Thank you. Spooky. Where's the O's? See, I already use a lot of O's. I should make my kids sort all these out. Elijah, I need you to find all the bees. And put them here. Cool. That's a good one. Black hat. I like that, Anastasia. Um, here goes an O. Another O. Okay, don't don't say too many. I'm trying to keep up. Got my old. You're gonna be a pain in the ass putting away. Okay, here's a G and an H and an O and a U for gold. I don't know, girl. I don't know if it says it. Let me see. It's a lot, though. Look at that. It's not even halfway. Look at all those beads. A thousand pieces. There's a thousand in here. So these are definitely worth it. And I feel like they're smaller than the ones that they had last year. These are the new ones. Okay, ghoul. I need another O for spooky and a K and a Y. Here goes the Y. Damn it. Here goes another O. Yay. And I need a K. Here goes a K. So many letters, guys. Here goes a K. Let's put these together first. All right. Move some stuff out the way. Um. So you guys know how when you um sometimes we buy beads and we don't like the direction that it's going. Like those bat beads, they're like sideways. Does that make sense? This would be a great way to use those kind of beads that are sideways. It has the hole on the side instead of like up and down. Please no avalanche. I know I have a bunch of beads that have holes on the side. Which ones do I have? Mm. 
What are you guys saying? How many come in the box? Hey, Lisa. All right, let's just do this. Let's do this. Oh, what about these? I want to use some of these that I just got from Hobby Lobby. Look how pretty this pink is. That's going to look nice with the 31 collection. And I do have these little candy ones from Michael's you can use. Bear with me, guys. And I got some stars here. Just waking up. What time is it there? It's late, girls. Like three something, or maybe even four. some of these pink ones. I hope I don't spill this somewhere. I'm gonna transfer them into here. Aren't they pretty? They're from Michael. They were five dollars for the bag. You get a ton. So what would you guys fill up your cauldron with? There's so many bees in this pink one. You made it home? Good girl. I bought it. I thought it might must be late. Oh, candy is a good one. Guys, tell Tracy to fast forward. I think she might be delayed. I just fit all these beads inside of here. Look at how pretty they are. They're gorgeous. All right. Let's do this. First, I want to make some tiny ones with the eek. Rose, that's, what be, uh, that's a great idea. That'd be so cute in there. Let me even get my seed beads. I'm so scared to grab my seed beads. I'm gonna start an avalanche. Yeah, let's use some of Natalie's. We'll use some of these pink ones from Natalie. Oh my god. So much. And then I need some sea beads for the ink. Ah! So, 
flowers would be perfect. Oh, inside the cauldron, yes. All right. Eek. And then I'm gonna put a tiny, another little tiny one. See how tiny and cute. So let me show you guys. Um, I learned this from Anna, La Cubana, and her sister Dulce, her twin. They were showing me how to like do the roll technique. And I'm gonna show you guys. So you got to have like a, a nice little amount and then you got to figure out how big you want your hole to be. Since there's not a lot here, I'm going to make it like about here. And you just, you grab it, you put it right on the tip. Okay, guys. Yeah, I think I'm going to fill it with dangles. And then you just roll. You keep rolling till you can't roll no more. This will probably work better. Um, yeah, no, it wasn't enough room. Let me take that out. I'll do it on one that has like more space on top. Damn it. Hold on, guys. I forgot how to wire wrap for a minute. All right. I'm going to try to wire wrap this. It's like a really tiny little space. It will look cute if you put he should beads on here. But you have to make sure you got a nice little tight closure if you use these little tiny little wire things. Head pins. Okay. I'm struggling, guys. There goes the eek. Let's use a bigger one. And let's do which. Do one of these, and then one of these. T. pink ones. Guys, these are so pretty from Pretty Mix Studio. Look at how gorgeous they are. 
so pretty. All right, now let's do that rolling technique. So take your needle nose pliers, figure out how big you want your hole. So the more this way you go, the bigger your hole is going to be, okay? So I'm going to go like right about there. I have it like sandwiched right in between so there's nothing hanging out. And I'm just going to roll and roll. And I'm going to keep on rolling until I get down to the base. Okay. Just like that. And then there goes a little dangle. See? Is anybody beating with me? All right, let's do ghoul. Let's do the ghoul. And with a little candy. I still want to add some of these pink ones. Mm. Let's see how it looks. Pink. The candy. Look at how cute that is. Oh, it's so cute. Try it, girl. Okay, we're going to do ghoul. G. I'm so weird about like my dingles. They have to like flow nicely to me. Or it'll bother me. These are also from Pretty Mix Studio. So I'm just making things to go 31 collection. That's why I'm using this color scheme. How does that look, guys? I'm going to go with it. So, again, place it where you want it. If you go more this way, it's going to be a smaller hole, okay? I like mine kind of in the middle. And you keep your thumb right here to kind of guide it. And you just keep on turning it. Just like that. That's cute. Okay. We got that one. We got eek. Let's do spooky. Spooky. And with some stars.
use these stars. Looks like he has a curl on top of his head. <laughs> I forgot I got the can these candy ones. All right, Mr. Spooky. So if you use these um these eye pins, you can dangle charms from there as well. Try it with both stars. Make sure you put them in the right direction. So I'm gonna make this hole smaller since there's not a lot of um of the pin left the wire. I'm gonna make this one smaller. Just like that. So do say an Anna if you watch. Thank you guys so much for showing me this technique. I was struggling with it at first. You gotta make sure it's really nice and tight so that your letters don't be moving all around. Hey Beth, happy birthday, Beth. Guys, wish Beth a happy birthday. The hat on top, then out spider web with her eyes glued on the web. When all the goodies under there. Oh, that'd be cute. Hey, Nuana. Guys, it's Beth's birthday. All right, there we go. So, guys, if you're just joining, I'm making some dangles right now, but we just got through making... the cauldron die and I'm making these damn it I'm making these to um go inside the cauldron tight too tight it's, it's twisting alright so here is the cauldron die that we put together and put my little hat on there isn't that cute and then i want to put a bunch of dangles in here i think that'd be cute hi crest who create is it reina i think i want to say reina The next one is what the hell? Boo bat. What was this one, guys? 
Oh, I was supposed to put that witch. Let's do one of these bats. Bat. And let's do bats. I need a black bead. I could put it in the bottom, the very bottom. Yay, I got it right. I would get you and Reno mixed up for some reason. So the black one, this like crystal looking pink one, and then our iridescent bat. And then we're gonna spell bats. B A T. I wish you'd top it with the bat. That's cute though. I like that. What do you guys think? That's cute. I like that. I'm going with it. So I am using those three inch eye pens, guys. Just better to have more room than less. Oh, I love this one. Isn't that one cute? I wish I had this bat in pink. So there's that one. Let's do boo. Let's spell out candy. I want to do candy. Um, here goes an A, an N. Sometimes if you guys get beads that are stuck together like this. Oh no. Did it crack all the way? Use these to get them apart. Okay, it came apart. Okay. A and D. I need a C and a Y. Where's a C? A Y. Where the C? We'll see. All right, so I think it's going to be my last one, guys. So I'm going to put that. Put one of these. I want a layer of black one, too. I don't want to make this video too long. C A. Probably should have used this one because it's jacked up. N A N.
Okay. So I'll turn everything in. All right, guys. So that's it for this video. Look at how cute it came out. These will look really cute. Dangle down whatever. On your bows. It will look cute for your witch brooms that we did. You can use these on so many projects. On your books, your embellishment books, and your bindings. Um, you can tie this up on your packaging. Like if you... I like to um, wrap stuff in tissue paper, tie it with tool, and then you can like you know clip this on there. String it through there. You can use a jump ring. Whatever. Isn't that cute? All right, guys. So that's it for this video. Um, hopefully, you guys feel inspired. Tag me if you do. Oh, and I was inspired to do these by Elena, who is Glam Girl Crafts. She showed me some of her projects that she did, and they were pastel Halloween. They were so cute. So I had to grab these beats from Hobby Lobby, okay? Um, make sure you guys rewatch this video if you came in late, because we did put together that cauldron. And I'll catch you guys in my next video, okay? Bye, guys.